Madison with Madison. Hey there! Are you ready to hear a story? The Jamboree Journey, Tank Story, written by Kimberly Hirsch and illustrated by Ramesh Ram. Way up in the mountains near the tallest peak, Tank the tortoise prepared for the most exciting jamboree of the season. You're invited to a jamboree hosted by Maisie the Mayfly. 6 p.m., Daffodil Hills, music, party, games, and delicious treats. He scrubbed his sneakers. Hurry, Tank! He shined his shell. Time to go, son! He buffed his bifocals. You're going to miss the... There will be other parties, son, Dad said, comforting Tank. I can still make it, Tank said with a determination. But tortoises were known to be slow, and the jamboree on Daffodil Hills was far away. Are you sure? Maybe we should watch a movie instead, Dad suggested. Tank straightened his polka dot bow tie and headed out. I'm sure. Things always have a way of working out if you believe they will. Tank scurried toward Daffodil Hills. He was making his way around the first bend when he heard a familiar voice. Heidi ho friend! Pickles the porcupine said, Dazzling day for a jamboree! Tank agreed. Hop on my back so you don't miss the fun, Pickles offered. Tank took one look at his barbed buddy. No thanks, I think I'll walk. Are you sure? asked Pickles. I'm sure. Things always have a way of working out when you believe they will. Look on the bright side. At least we got to talk for a bit. Then Pickles dashed off to Daffodil Hills. To get to the Jamboree quicker, Tank decided to take a shortcut. Shortcut to Daffodil Hills. Warning, rough terrain ahead. Slip! Ugh! Tumble! Ooh! Ugh! Dust blanketed Tank's once shiny shell. Tank looked around. The whole world looked fuzzy. My glasses, he cried out to the peaks. A movie with Dad seemed like a good idea now, but he thought of his friends waiting for him. He stood up with persistence. I will get to the jamboree. Things always have a way of working out when you believe they will, he reminded himself to be sure. Tank repeated it three more times out loud. Tank tucked away his broken glasses. He continued on, feeling his way along the path and right into a... Not again! Tank hollered into the pond. Splash! He sat in the water and squinted at his reflection. He tinkered with his tattered bow tie. What would his friends think of him now? He thought about going home, but remembered. Things always have a way of working out if you believe they will. He believed they would. Tank trudged out of the pond with his last bit of grit. He inspected his surroundings as best as he could. No yellow daffodils, no grassy hills, no jamboree. Was his journey over? Tank sat in the sand to think. Although there was not a single yellow daffodil anywhere, Tank could see the fading glow of the sun. What a beautiful sunset it was. Wait, it was nighttime. That couldn't be the sun. Then what was the bright yellow? Light? Tank! Voices squealed as the hum of an engine roared louder. Old buddy, old pal! shouted Sebastian from behind the wheel of the party bus. We brought the jamboree to you, friend! It's a buzz bash, Maisie explained proudly. A four-wheeled fiesta, Sebastian chimed in. A jamboree journey, Pickles shouted with delight. After hearing Tank's story, Maisie found some tape to fix his broken glasses. Suddenly, everything was crystal clear again. How did you keep going, Tank's friends wanted to know. Tank brushed off his bow tie and straightened out his glasses. I knew I would make it to the jamboree. Things always have a way of working out if you believe they will. The end. Okay, thumbs up if you enjoyed the book. Nice. If you would like to purchase this book for your at-home library, you can click on the link in the description box below to support the talented authors, illustrators, and publishers. Thank you for watching, and remember to hit the subscribe button if you want to hear more read-alouds, do some science experiments, watch videos about letters and numbers, and do some really fun arts and crafts projects with me. I'll see you next time. Bye. Thanks for watching.